Om Shanti. Good morning. Today is 6 July 2023. Baba Sakar Murli. Om Shanti. Baba Dada Madhuban. Essence of today's Murli. Baba says, sweet children, it is essential to imbibe the virtue of maturity in this knowledge. Baba's knowledge is true knowledge, very high knowledge. For that, Baba says, and the virtue of maturity is required. You must never have any arrogance. Have regard for the mother. So three things Baba told. Maturity, then no arrogance. And Baba says, regard for mothers. Then question from today's Murli. What is the father's hope for all the children? When will you be able to fulfill that hope? The answer is that the father's hope is that the children will make such effort that they change from ordinary humans into Narayan. It is through this that the father will be revealed, create such a revelation that the father is praised and the children are also praised. Baba says, children, if you become Narayan from an ordinary human, Temples will be built to both you and myself. Follow the Father in order to become worthy of worship like them. Promise yourself that you will follow him completely. So what is the Father? So Baba says, Baba is making us from ordinary human to Narayan. But for that, Baba says, you have to follow Father. You have to follow his directions. Then only Baba says, Father will be also revealed through this, uh, uh, your uh, attempts and your uh, perfection. Song of the day, since the day we met you, Om Shanti, you children feel that you are definitely listening to new things for the new world. Baba is making new world for us. Huh? And the Baba today is uh, comparing this old world and new world. And for the new world, Baba is telling so many new things today. So first thing is Baba says, this is our new love. No one else has personal love for the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul. Huh? So nobody is, uh, Baba says, experiencing the personal love for Father. In, in person, Baba is with us. He is teaching us in person. So, so much love we are having for Baba. Baba says, therefore, this is a new aspect. You know that Baba is the purifier. This old world is called impure and that new one is called the pure world. So, your love will now, uh, now be for the new world. You understand that your love is for the new world of heaven. That is called the Shiva temple, whereas this is called the Rothel. So Baba is today uh, giving full description of new world. So we can visualize uh, side by side, uh, Baba is telling. Baba says there are definitely vicious human beings here. In the golden age, they are viceless. And so it is called the Shiva temple. It is Shiva Baba who establishes such a viceless world. You understand that in this old world, there are definitely pictures of the deities who lived in the new world. The resident of Bharat have forgotten all this and they call it Hindus, Hindustan. They say our Hindustan is lovely. Baba says, yes, it definitely was lovely, but the name is, sorry, the name in fact is not Hindustan. It is called the land of Bharat. Bharat means the land which, which was full of jewels. Baba says, not Hindustan. And definitely they were, uh, there were deities, so they were lovely and they were wiseless. So Baba says, so you children understand that these things definitely seem new. We have never heard such things before. Huh? Nobody has told such things. Baba says neither it was in the scripture nor any saint has said these things. This knowledge is unique to the whole world. The people of Bharat have many varieties of temple. 
Christians only had one church and they later created many different churches because there are also some partitions are there. In the golden age, there are no temples because there is that is a kingdom of living deities. The deities ruled in the new world in Baba says in the Shiva temple. You now understand that you are about to go to the new world. So now we are about to go. We are making attempts to go. Baba says, don't even think that these buildings Baba has built uh, are new. Huh? Because that time Brahma Baba, he built so many new buildings. But Baba was living in old heart. Baba says, these buildings are though new, but it, are, it is made of old elements. So Baba says, they are old only. In fact, they are old in the old world. Our love is now for that new world. Baba is making new world, new buildings for us. So Baba says, have vision for new world, not for the old world. Souls have love for the supreme soul. The one who is sitting in front of you. People think that the Brahma Kumars and Kumaris have love for Brahma. But you know that your love is only for one Si Baba and none, none other. How? Baba says, although your name is the Brahma Kumar and Kumaris, your love is not for Brahma. The Brahma is a bodily being. He takes birth and rebirth. You should not form any relationship with bodily beings. Huh? Baba, our consciousness, Baba is taking above the body. Baba is asking to forget the body. So Baba says, don't remember Brahma. So our, our remembrance is for Sri Baba only. Baba says, those Guru adopt names for themselves, such as Satchitanand. Uh, Sat means the truth. Chittamana living means living being. And uh, Ananda means the embodiment of bliss. However, it is only the Supreme Soul who can be called the truth, the living being and the embodiment of bliss. You souls were the truth, living beings, embodiment of bliss, embodiment of peace and embodiment of knowledge. You are now becoming those again at the conference age, just as the Father's praise is the ocean of knowledge and the ocean of peace. So you too are embodiment of truth, living beings and embodiment of bliss. By remembering the seed and the tree, the entire knowledge enters your intellect. Very important line. Baba says, Baba is the seed of this human world tree. So if you will remember Baba, then the entire knowledge of the tree of this cycle, Baba says, it will emerge in, in your intellects. There are exactly five ages. It is now the conference age. Now, how to remember how it, the tree will emerge? This Baba is giving the description. The world does not know of this conference age. They might know about it, but they don't know the details such as who ruled in the golden age or how they claim that kingdom. You are now claiming your kingdom. You definitely have to come into this cycle and take rebirth. No one can remain in the golden age forever. And this is also most important line. Baba says no one can remain in the golden age forever. Because uh, it will be changing time by time. It is now that you receive the recognition of heaven and hell. So now the clear concept is there in your intellect of uh, heaven and hell. It is now the iron age and then the golden age will definitely come. Therefore, it must definitely have been at the conference age that the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul, his praise is distinct. It is not that the praise of one can be the same as that of another. Each one has his own sanskars and activities. They cannot be the same as those of another. One cannot match with another, Baba Sisa. Everybody has their own uh, sanskars and qualities. Each soul has his or her 
own part. It has been explained to you children that you souls take 84 births. So this is also a new thing. You are listening to new things. Uh, because in the world we, we heard that uh, uh, there are 84 lakhs births. Out of uh, 84th lakh birth, only human birth we are getting. That was the belief. But Baba is telling this new thing that one soul can take maximum 84 births. God speaks, I teach you Raj Yoga and make you into the king of kings. That is, I make you into Lakshmi from an ordinary woman and Narayan from an ordinary man. Baba also asked, do you want to become Narayan of the Sun dynasty or Ram of the Moon dynasty? Huh? When Baba was coming, Baba used to ask such questions. Baba says, children say, Baba, our aim and objective is to become those of the Sun dynasty. All are number wise. Huh? Now Baba says, your aim is nice, but Baba says all are number wise. Some, now Baba is giving example, some barristers are very good, whereas others are ordinary. Some surgeons earn hundreds of thousands of rupees, whereas others earn very little. It all depends on how they study, because study and knowledge is the source of income. So how you will study, Baba says, uh, that depends on the study, your earnings, that depends on the study. Among you, too, there are many who will earn a great deal and claim a throne. So here also like that. This is a huge unlimited godly college. There are limitations in other colleges. Baba says, huh? how this is unique? Because in the world, Baba says, there are limitations. Uh, only so many will pass. This college is unlimited. This is World Spiritual University. Baba says this college is unlimited. Therefore, you are listening to new things. You now understand that it is the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul, who gives you innocent, innocent one's power. You understand how much power you receive from the Supreme Soul. We are warriors standing on a battlefield. This is a new aspect. So another new aspect Baba is telling. We are warriors on this battlefield. How warriors? What is the battlefield? Baba is making clear further. Baba says a war between the Pandavas and Kauravas is mentioned in the Gita. But there is no question of a war. Here there is no physical war. Baba says every aspect is new. Because here, here our war is uh, against Maya, against inner war. Our war is inner war against goodness and badness. So Baba says Krishna is not God, but he is the alf of the new world. Now further one new thing Baba is telling. Krishna is not God, but he is the alf of the new world. All aspects are new, starting with alf. Uh, so everything starts with alf. Alf means first letter of alphabet. Baba says, uh, so that alphabet starts from first letter. So here also, uh, Baba, four things uh, uh, explaining. Baba says, first is Krishna. He is alf of new world. Then Lakshmi and Narayan are the alf of the new world. And their children come after them. Lakshmi and Narayan are alf of the golden age human world. Here, Brahma, alf is the creator of the human world. So in the conferences, Baba is uh, creating new world through Brahma. So Brahma is first creation, first Brahmin. So Brahma is alf of this Brahmin clan. So in the confluence, Brahma is alf. Baba says, first of all, the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul is Alf. So above three, first Alf is Siv Baba. He is Siv. And, and through him only all three Alfs are created. So Alf is a Urdu word. Alf means a, Alf, Bete, te, something. That is the alpha, first alphabet of Ur, Urdu alphabets. So Alf means Allah. Huh? Alf means God. So Baba, how you uh, explaining, giving the examples? Baba says, uh, later Brahma is made Alp, then Lakshmi and Narayan are made Alp. Here you belong to Brahmin clan. Brahma has been remembered as the head of the Brahmin clan. 
Although there are those other Brahmins, they have never heard the name of Brahma Kumars and Kumaris. This name is not even mentioned in the Gita. So this is also a new thing. Uh, Baba says there is physical Brahmins, but these Brahmins nobody knows. And Brahma Kumars and Kumaris, this name also not mentioned in the Gita, so they don't know. Therefore, these aspects are new. Because of calling Bharat Hindustan, they speak of the Hindu religion. This, this is another new things Baba is telling. They have no knowledge of their ancient religion. It is as though the deity religion never existed. Because they don't know their own religion, they say that all religions are the same. They don't know about the deity religion. They, they know about Hindu religion because they have forgotten their own religion. People of all religions can come and stay here. They are free to do so. All religions are given regard and so people of any religion can come and stay where? In Bharat. Just look outside how they continue to reject those of other religions. They continue to deport Indians from Ceylon and Burma. In those days they were deported Indians are deported from Singhalon and Burma. So Baba is giving example. Bharat is in fact the land of ancient deity religion. But they, means the government, say that anyone can come and live here. Government is also allowing, but how they don't know the uh, secrecy. Baba says Bharat is the birthplace of God. God's father, his father. So the souls of all religions, they got right to stay here in Bharat. That's why Baba says government is also allowing. Not all can live together everywhere. Baba says there is so much conflict among religions. So although government is allowing, Baba says nobody can live together. That's why so much conflict is here. Ah, we can see now. It is said that Bharat will give Islam to all religions. That is why Bharat is praised. Bharat is giving Islam. Islam means shelter. We can say refuses of all religions. Bharat is accepting and giving shelter. That is why Bharat is praised. You are now listening to new things. This is There is no one of the deity religion in Bharat at present. We are now making effort for the new world. See, Baba creates heaven. In fact, all are children of Brahma. But it is you, Brahmins, who have especially been remembered. When you, Baba says, when were you created? Surely you must have been created at the conference age. The different castes have also been clearly shown. We become the top note Brahmins then deities, then warriors, then merchants and sudras. Although this knowledge is very deep and entertaining, it hardly sits in anyone's intellect. Baba says in the original picture of uh, Virat Rup, uh, everybody were there. Even Sivaba and Topnod Brahmins were there. But in the picture of this devotion, Sivaba and Brahmins are removed. Others Clans are there, other caste. Today, Baba told the caste, caste are there. <laughs> so Baba says this knowledge is very deep and entertaining. It hardly sits in anyone intellect. There, that's why Baba today told that uh, deep intellect is required. You children should imbibe this knowledge very well and never become upset with the teacher. Don't sulk this and stop uh, studying. Otherwise, you will end up in the very depth of hell. The Father has come to speak this knowledge and so you should listen to it. On the path of devotion, so much discipline is maintained when they listen to the Gita. They listen with great discipline. They also go to their temples with that discipline. They follow firm disciplines every day. Your disciplines are extremely strict. Stay in remembrance for half a moment or 
वन मोमेंट एंड देन इंक्रीज इट सो बाबा से ग्रेजुअली यू इंक्रीज द रिमेम्बरेंस सो दैट वी हैव टू मेंटेन चार्ट बाय रिमेम्बरिंग बाबा द लॉक्स ऑन योर इंटेलेक्स विल ओपन सो व्हाई टू रिमेम्बर बाबा से इफ यू विल रिमेम्बर मी द लॉक्स ऑन योर इंटेलेक्स विल बी ओपन सी बाबा डज नॉट चर्न द नॉलेज ऑफ नॉलेज बाबा हाँ वाई वी हैव टू रिमेम्बर बाबा बाबा से अदरवाइज यू कैनॉट चर्न दिस Uh, very high knowledge, true knowledge. See, Baba doesn't have to churn this knowledge because he is ocean of knowledge. He does not have to churn knowledge. It is you who have to churn knowledge in order to explain it to others. Why we have to churn? Because we have to explain it to others. Therefore, you should never sulk but have regard for each other. Some children don't know how to maintain regard for the maharathis. The teachers are still the main ones. They make ten to twelve similar to themselves, and so they have to be given that regard because they are doing services to make others like them. It is as though you are Siu Baba's agent. So today, Baba has given this new title to we Brahmins. Baba says, just like what the agents are doing in this world, you are also Sri Baba's agents. Not all agents can be the same. They are all number wise. Baba says, yes, yeah, they are all agents. Though they are number one or number wise, Baba says, although they are agents, they are doing services. Uh, they are giving Baba's message to everybody. Some have very good dharana. They remain on service day and night. Siu Baba too has come here on service. Baba says, "I perform a double task. I also serve the devotees. Why double task? The service of children and devotees. You know who performs the task of granting vision to the whole world. Although these things are predestined in the drama." They receive vision at that time, so this is also a new thing. Baba is telling. Baba is so great. It is his grace, greatness. Although he is doing everything, he is giving vision also. But Baba says it is predestined in drama. They think that God, the Father, granted them a vision through divine insight. People everywhere receive visions. Those visions are also fixed in the drama because once the vision is given, drama is taking note of it. So Baba says, at the same time, at the same time, as per that same thoughts, drama will make you give that reason. Make you it is a, it is a, a pakka confirm that time. So Baba says it is predestined in the drama. You need an unlimited and broad intellect for this to understand all the secrets of drama. Baba says you need unlimited broad intellect. These aspects are new. The cycle of the world should turn around in your intellects. Some spin the discuss of self-realization very fast, and some slowly. You are spinners of the discuss of self-realization. Your intellects continue to work. Number wise for services, some are not able to spin the discuss of self-realization. Although the wind blows in the same way, direction for everyone the discuss of some spins fast, whereas that of others spins slowly. The discuss of some does not spin at all. Baba says, "What status will you receive if you don't spin the discuss of self-realization?" Therefore, these are new things. The father continues to explain. So this is also new things. Baba today told uh, why the discuss of self-realization is not moving because we are not remembering Baba. Baba says, "If you want to claim your inheritance." Claim it now, otherwise you will regret it later and also weep. You have to reveal the teacher. This is a very big college. If you study well and you will receive a good status, you should promise that you will follow the mother and father completely. It is not that the son of a barrister will become a barrister. Baba says no. 
some will become doctors some engineers some will even become like ha uh, satan and others can become robbers the father says in order to reveal me change from an ordinary human into narayan my praise will be sung and your praise will also be sung you will become deities a temple will be built to me and yours will also be built the main temple should be to one shri baba then along with him there are the brahmins and the children there is variety in the delwala temple that is the greatest memorial you are sitting here in the living form uh, baba says they saw idols of a sakti riding a lion and a maharathi riding an elephant it is said that an elephant was swallowed by an alligator if there isn't remembrance of the father maya the alligator will swallow you maya the alligator even swallow good maharathis so baba says there should not be any arrogance great maturity is needed here there should be no arrogance of doing something as much as possible keep the mothers ahead in everything have regard for the mothers all the kids should be with the mothers all the news should come from the mothers so baba is uh, giving too much regard to mothers yes baba says it is possible that some kumars are more clever than the kumaris and the mothers but they have to write to baba for advice uh, they should not take law in their hand baba says the king may issue the orders but it is the queen who rules the kingdom very important line first it is the queen then the king firstly the mother guru is needed there is no system here for men to become gurus the law here says that you have to keep the mothers in front although some men become instrument to bring mothers into gyan the majority are mothers you should not have any arrogance that you know everything or that you are clever it is the mothers who have to be made clever the centers have to be run by the mothers at the end it is through the mothers that the arrows will hit the sanyasis therefore everything has to run according to the law uh, why the name of the institute is also on the name of mothers brahma kumaris baba says those who defame the supreme father the supreme soul cannot claim a high status baba questions everyone you have to become very sweet if you hear something that you don't like then listen with one ear and let it out of the another anger causes a great deal of damage some write and ask why is anger not said to be worse than lust baba says but no lust causes you sorrow from its beginning through the middle to the end only one purifier has been remembered sanyasis cannot purify everyone this is another new thing therefore you are listening to new aspect that god the highest on high sits here and teaches he is called sri sri then baba says in the human world it is said sri lakshmi sri narayan so double title sri sri only given to sri baba then single title sri to deities baba is giving the example sri lakshmi sri narayan sri ram and sri sita acha who made them elevated baba says sri title it is given to deities but who made them elevated it was sri sri shiv baba who made them such elevated souls acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bap dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children and we spiritual children with love say good morning to the mother the father bap dada mithe mithe sikilade bachcho prati mat pita bap dada ka yaad pyar aur good morning ruhani bap ki ruhani bachcho ko namaste hum ruhani bachcho ki ruhani mat pita bap dada ko yaad pyar good morning and namaste so essence for dharna for today from this murli point number 1 live in harmony with one another give regard to one another 
never sulk and thereby stop studying. Papa says, if any conflict is there, uh, take advice, but don't study, don't uh, leave the study. Second point, another cause, in, sorry, anger causes a lot of damage. Therefore, if you hear something you don't like, listen with one ear and let it out of the other. But don't become angry. Become very, very sweet. Now, blessing for today. May you be a constantly clean, holy swan whose intellect takes the food of your thoughts. So, Baba has blessed for uh, holy swan. This title is given for holy swan. But who can be, Baba says, who takes the pure food, that is pure thoughts. The explanation is there. Holy swans do not take anything into their intellect except pearls of knowledge. So, Brahmin souls, we are swans who are the elevated top notes can never take anything that is below them. Holy swans means constantly clean, constantly pure. Purity is cleanliness. Baba says, holy swan can never have impure thoughts. Holy swans who always eat the food of pure thoughts remain constantly healthy. So those who will eat eh, pure food, Baba says, their body will be healthy. Here also, if the soul will create pure thoughts through the mind, then intellect will be, the vessel of intellect will be uh, become pure. And so that is the, the whole can be, the soul can be told pure souls. And Baba says they cannot be influenced by anyone. Then slogan for today, become souls who love peace and reveal the uh, Santi Kund, means the sacrificial fire of peace with your mind. So become souls who love peace and reveal the Santi Kund with your mind. So our uh, first our uh, body is Santi Kund, then our home is Santi Kund, then our yagya is Santi Kund. So Baba says, uh, with peace only we have to reveal the, uh, reveal the Santi Kund. Thank you very much, Baba. Om Shanti. Now we will remember Baba for a minute and finish the movie.